Yeah! <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get pumped for this session now. Woo! Woo! Rudy, <laughs> give us some tricks to getting pumped for sessions. You gotta bark, you gotta drink Celsius, you gotta get the caffeine in, and you gotta put some loud music, you gotta talk shit to your housemates, and uh, you gotta bark a little more. Is that a sponsor? No. No. Almost was. What happened? I really like it though. I'm, I'm telling my agent to push. Uh, they weren't ready to commit, apparently. But they sent me like 48 cans, so I've been drinking them. It's really good, actually. And I've been kind of trying the caffeine more and more. Kind of get myself to pump up. Because usually, historically, I'm like, before the race, I'm like, chill, relax, whatever. Now I'm like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So they weren't ready to commit. You didn't take them out on enough dates. <laughs> take them out what? You didn't take them out on enough dates? No. To enough fancy restaurants? I tried too hard to just, you know, sleep with them and it didn't work out. So <laughs> they're like, really too pushy. <laughs> Time to get shit done. We are 16 days out of Ironman Texas and uh, this is one of the bigger sessions. We have four and a half hour ride with four hours at race pace and then into a 90 minute run pretty much all at race pace. So a little six hour break. It was supposed to be two hour run off but uh, I had a little niggle and uh, I'm somewhat building up my run so hour and a half is already pretty good for me at this point. Do it. All right, Rudy Von Berg, first YouTube of the season. What the hell have you been up to, man? You've been pretty quiet. <laughs> uh, I've been uh, tumbling in the rankings. I went from 19th to 33rd, and uh, you know, just plugging away, trying to get everything done well consistently, get the training done all winter with not too many distractions under Coach McCall and. Uh, yeah, just focusing on uh, Ironman Texas in 15 days. Just trying to do good work. First YouTube. Um, yeah, this was a big Ironman brick, six hour brick. Went quite well. So, um, everything's looking good. Yeah, last, last video was Kona. And um, that went... Uh, 
Yeah, it was 20th, it was okay, not great. So expecting more this season. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give myself a chance of just having a, a prolonged period of just training. That's kind of how you can get see if, if it's really working for you or not. So I've had January, February, March. Now the race is on the 22nd of April. So that's a, a really good period to know if, uh, you know, try to get next level, essentially, do real in Texas and qualify for Worlds in Nice. So, uh, I mean, I'll judge red racing if uh, I'm getting the right stimulus, if it's uh, looking good for me. Another reason also I didn't do videos was uh, I didn't run for a little. Uh, I had a bit of a knee inflammation. Uh, so I didn't run. It was only 10 days without running, so it was okay. And uh, now I'm back. And um, yeah, swim and bike is great. And run, I feel like I didn't really lose that much. A bit of muscular endurance, but uh, overall I feel pretty good. Anything in particular that you feel like caused the knee inflammation? Are you feeling 100% again? Yeah, I uh. feel like I'm just, uh, that's been my whole career. I'm just not, I don't, uh, I don't, have, how do I say? I don't deal really well with uh, the run pounding, I guess, or just a higher volume, higher intensity kind of got to keep me at a, a right level if you're trying to increase it just muscularly it's always like this area quad into the knees into the knee kind of always gets tight and I, I did a lot of runs on that tightness trying to get it to adapt and uh, I guess eventually it was pulling maybe on the knee or something but yeah awesome so it sounds like it was a quick fix for you um let's talk about you know the the specifics of this training how do you feel like today went what was the main goal? Like, what did you want to see from like key takeaways from these two sessions? Yeah, so this is kind of the typical uh, big Ironman key session, let's say. Even though obviously there's not only one, but this is the longest one, so six hour break. It was supposed to be six and a half hours, but because of what I said about the knee, I just took out 30 minutes of the run, so 90 minutes instead of two hours. And um, I've been building on the bike. Uh, so aerobic threshold LT1 and uh, anaerobic threshold LT2. So building up to today's session, which was, uh, as I said, four hours at race pace. And uh, with the runoff, which we did all uh, kind of LT1 as well. So um, yeah, just kind of a race simulation essentially. So heading into the race, goals obviously to qualify for the world championships. Where do you need to be uh, to set yourself up to uh, accomplish that? And do you think it's feasible? So there's five slots, but the two main guys, Skipper and Hansen, already have their slot. And they're likely going to be both in the top five. So essentially, it's top seven for the slot. So honestly, if I don't fuck it up, I should get a slot. That's, uh, but you know, in an Ironman, much can happen, but I'm not going to fuck it up. And on top of that, I don't want to just be top seven. I mean, I want to be on the podium or win the race. So uh, that's the goal.